Hi everybody, welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Today we're going to start by having a guest speaker here, Sean, to tell us about something he found in the front yard. Well, actually he didn't find it, he knew it was there, because he's smart. Sean, talk to us about this weed and what it does. Okay, for you people that do not use the uh, lawn sprays and that, your yard can be a virtual uh, pharmacy and also food factory for you. Here we have a long bladed plantain, which is great for salads, it's great for all kinds of bites, it's great for skin problems, things like that. Just pick it, rub it on Skin a, problems like? Oh, eczema, things like that. Okay. Um, it's really good for mosquito bites. Uh, uh, I was bit by a mud dauber uh, hornet just about a month ago. About 10 seconds after I rubbed this on the bite, the pain was gone. And then I wrapped it around with a little bit of gauze and it pulled all the poison out. Okay, hey, I'm looking forward to that because of mosquito bites. Right. Hey, hey Sean, when you... Um... Now this is the wide, the wide uh, plantain, which is also great in salads and for the same thing and what you do is you rub this you get the juices going press hard and then you can just put a bandage over it or a band-aid or whatever you need to hold it on there for as long as you need what's that randy how, how, do you cook this stuff ever uh i never did raw? i'd put it i eat it raw i like it raw yeah it's a little but, bit late in the year it gets a little tough this time of year hmm. the yeah. spring it's really uh nice uh, nice uh, in salads and that uh, one lady brings uh, what she calls a uh, yard weed salad to the <laughs> vegetarian picnics <laughs> which is a delicious salad it's a very good salad I mean it's got dandelions it's got uh, red clover it's got plantain in it everything yeah. that your body needs is in these plants and they grow wild in your yard so and why in the world would anybody call somebody to come and kill these plants <laughs> And that's Indeed. the broadleaf one. Mm -hmm. That's the broadleaf. Now, when you go to the get the broadleaf, I don't know if you can get a good picture of this, but this has ribs in it. Got it. And it all ha and it always has five or more ribs. Okay. Now, I do not know if there's any kind of poisonous look-alike. I've never known of one, but this is the thing. This okay. is a very valuable herb that you get free in your yard. And you know I'm all about salads, so mm -hmm. I'm really wanting to try that. Can I still make a salad out of it? Sure. Okay. Sure. If it's a little bit fibery, it may be a little bit fibery. It may not. You know, depends. Okay. Great. Thank and you. And I can't remember offhand without looking it up all the vitamins that are included in this. Well, we'll get caught up on that in the next few weeks when mm -hmm. we do your herbalism update. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Randy, you're on. Hey, Joe, do you know why um, they call uh, salads religious food? Why is that? You never heard anybody say, let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, man, that's so stupid, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going through the garden and I'm picking out some of the cherry tomatoes that I didn't get this morning because we've been selling stuff down to... Uh, farmer's market and I came up this morning early while the dew was still on the on the plants and I got and they're not much dew because it's dry but anyway I've been picking these like crazy and feeding the people and we had the best day ever selling stuff at the farmer's market we made 65 bucks and instead of giving it to the community bill of rights we put up a sign to say we're not giving it there we're going to give it to uh, some folks who have had their property fracked who need some help with some stuff so we're going to send the money to them uh, we also have been giving the food away to the people from the Bernie Sanders uh, campaign. Um, Bernie Sanders uh, Youngstown on Facebook is a place to go to find out what we're doing here. So all of you folks out there in video land, check it out. We're giving stuff to the Bernie Sanders campaign. We're making signs like crazy. We got some really big ones that I talked about last week. We are so big you have to pound them down into the ground with a sledgehammer. That's going to be great. 
who were still harvesting from the garden. Take a shot at these tomatoes, Joe. Notice how they're on cardboard. Yes. Okay, the point of that is it keeps them off of the moist ground where they're gonna be much more likely to rot. Now if you can get down in here and take a shot of those peppers from underneath, or maybe I'll go in and move them so you can see them. Check this out. Get the tomato out of the way. Look at those babies. Oh, those look wonderful. Look at those babies. Yeah, delicia mundo. Um, I don't try to sell the ones that are black like that. I eat them myself. But I don't care if they're black. Doesn't matter to me. These plants have been producing and producing and producing and producing. Look at that. We've been selling them three for a dollar at the farmer's market. That's Beautiful. cool. Yeah, and you can take some of these home today too, Joe. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And the more they come, the more this happens. Look at this. We picked off the peppers. Look at this white flower. That's going to be another pepper in a week or so. Ah, How about that? Okay. Is that cool? Is that cool? Got it. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. It's delicious. And in the back here, you can see we're still getting raspberries. And they're delicious. Fantastic. It's red raspberries. Fantastic. Mm. Put I out. feel a salad and a smoothie mm. coming on. Mm. <laughs> leaves uh, are medicinal. Huh? And the leaves are medicinal. The raspberry leaves. Yes. What's raspberry leaves, Sean? Um, great to make a tea if you have a cold or flu. Um, no, can, tell me, how, tell me about the, how to harvest them. I just take them right? Just take them, you take a, no more than a third of the leaves off of the uh, plant cut because... Cut them right at the main stem? Just cut them right at the stem. Like right. that? Yeah. And do you dry them out before you make the tea or does it yeah, matter? You, you can. Um, Randy, would you cut again so I could oh, sure, get yeah. it on video? Yeah. Well, you did come right to the stem. And don't cut the berries because they're right there too. Mm -hmm. Just get the leaf. And that's what you use to make the tea. Right. You can dry it out or not. Yeah, it's better yeah. if you do dry them out for, you know, so they don't get moldy while they're in storage. Um, okay. So now they are great for any kind of a head cold. They're great for flu. Women that are going through pregnancy, it helps them all through pregnancy. It helps them have an easier delivery. It helps them bring the milk in for the baby. Yeah. Um, all kinds of things it's good for. Now, Sean, do you think I should wait until after we're done harvesting the berries to start harvesting the leaves? as long as you don't take more than a third of the leaves. Just don't take too much. Don't be, right. Take as much as you can drink now. After the berries are all done, take much then more. take them all. <laughs> take them all. Okay, because they're all going to die off in the winter anyway, right? Right. Now, okay. over here, I found burdock. <laughs> oh, ah. cool. You were looking for that, weren't you? Yes, I was. Well, go get it. Do you need a knife or anything? This is a bi this is a biennial plant. Now the first year, the leaves are very tasty. They're very bitter now, so that tells me that this is a second year plant. Okay. Now the roots should be very well formed mm -hmm. and big. This is a staple in uh, Japanese and Chinese and Oriental cooking. Can I eat it's some also of that a now, it blood just... purifier. It's also great for organs if you're having problems with their pancreas or your liver or your uh, spleen or whatever, the tea is beneficial for that. Okay, fantastic. I've been pulling that stuff away as a weed is throwing it away. Yeah. Is it too bitter to eat now? Yeah, they're too bitter right now, but uh, so you can dig up the root and you can cook the root and eat it. Okay. Or, or you can make tea out of it. Ooh, burdock root tea. <laughs> and, uh, and it's, it's a blood purifier. Um, um, like it's also it. great for uh, things like acne and things like that. Um, okay. Clears the skin. It's all kinds of things like that. Fantastic. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Randy, That's cool. can I have some of that too? Yeah, sure. We'll see whether we can't dig some up, all right? Okay. I have to go out and get a shovel after we're done with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can see we did have tomatoes over here. Uh, we've got one stem of them left. This picture of this joke. This is what's left on them. They're probably going to have to be fried green because that's the end of the crop and the stems are all browning out now. Okay. You cut several tomato plants well, out. Fried green tomatoes are great. They are. They are. But these are not the best for anything. They're just kind of like what's left. Um, we have 25 do... seconds, guys. Closing thoughts. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Support Bernie Sanders. Go to BernieSanders.com. Uh, go to uh, fa Facebook for Bernie Sanders Youngstown. Bye, everybody!